hi everyone let's provide a solution to this problem 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x equals 100 okay so what we're going to do now is to add these two so to do that so we're going to have 2 into 5 to the power of x then we have 100 on that side then from here again we are going to divide both sides by 2 so that 2 will go with this and then 5 to the power of x will be equal to half of 100 and that is 50 but then can we express 50 in this form I think the answer to that is no because 50 can only be 5 multiplied by 10, right? Okay, then we can still simplify that so that we have um, 5 to the power of x equals 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2. Okay, so this is what we have. And then we can even write this again, you know, in index form. So that we have 5 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2. Now, since this cannot be in this form exactly, we are going to take the log of both sides. So we'll take the log of 5 to the power of x. And then we have the log of 5 squared multiplied by 2. Mind you, this 5 here is not the base, right? Okay, so both of them are to base of 10. Now, what do we do? There's a law that says, if you have log of A to the power of B, it is the same thing as B log A. Okay, so I'll now take this X behind as we have X log 5. This is X log 5 now, and it's equal to the log of 5 squared multiplied by 2. And then, since we are multiplying these two logs again, imagine that you have the same log a, b, okay? This time around is log a, b, or log a times b. This is the same thing as log a plus log log b. So if we do the same thing here, we'll have x log 5 to be equal to log 5 squared plus log 2. Okay, now what again do I do? Remember what happens to the power? We say that the power always go behind. So this 2 is a power. Now we have x log 5. Now equal to 2 log 5. Then plus log 2. We cannot add these two because they are not the same log, right? This is log 5 and this is log 2. What do we do? Since we want to get the value of x, I need to remove log 5 from here then divide the other side by log 5 so that this will take this out and then x is free on the left and it's equal to 2 log 5 plus log 2 everything here is divided by log 5 okay okay so from here now remember that this log 5 is not for you know, 2 log 5 alone is for both numerators. So we can split and get x to be what? 2 log 5 over log 5 plus log 2 over log 5. So that this can take this out and then x will, will be 2 plus log 2 over log 5. And then at this point, we can take um, change the base. This is log 2 to base 10, log 5 to base 10. If we apply change of base, x will be equal to 2 plus log 2, and this 5 becomes the base. Okay, so this is now the value of x, okay, that we are going to use and verify. Remember, the equation is still 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x equals 100 okay so one thing we always do is that when we are done solving we verify to make sure that we are right 
and in the process of verifying you know even while we try to verify there are still other steps that you will learn so it's just step it and um, keep learning now in place of x now let's put in the value of x which is this so we have 5 to the power of 2 plus log 2 to base 5 then plus another 5 to the power of the same which is 2 plus log 2 to the base of 5 now from here again we are going to apply another law of indices because if we have x okay let me use a since there's x in the equation if you have a to the power of b plus c this is the same as a to the power of b multiplied by a to the power of c so i can now write this one in this form so we have 5 squared multiplied multiply by 5 to the power of log 2 to base 5 right now let's group this plus the same 5 squared from here now multiply by 5 to the power of log 2 to base 5 and then one thing you should know is 5 squared is 25 right but then before that you should also know this um, law that if you have a to the power of log b this b now is having the base of a again so this is equal to b so in that case 5 to the power of log 2 to base 5 is equal to 2 so that means that here now we're having 5 squared multiplied by 2 plus 5 squared again multiplied by 2 so if we go ahead 5 squared this was 25 multiplied by 2 plus here again we have 25 multiplied by 2 okay so do you know that some persons will be tempted to say um, 2 plus 25 is 27 then multiply by 2 and then multiply by this or they'll multiply 25 by 2 then add 25 before multiplying by 2 that would be wrong because you need to follow a particular order so we're going to write 25 times 2 that is 50 then this plus will see come because it should be multiplication before addition 25 times 2 is another 50 and 50 plus 50 is equal to 100 now remember what the equation is the equation is 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x equals 100 so this means that we are very correct to say that our x is equal to 2 is equal to 2 plus log 2 to base 5 and then this the whole of this is 50 and the whole of this is also 50 thank you for watching